Out our Mike Becerra in Washington. Mike, thank you. Joining me now to discuss this historic vote is Richard Sakaridis. He's an attorney and gay rights advocate who worked in the Clinton administration. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. This has been a long time coming, hasn't it? It has. I mean, many, many people, myself included, have been working on this for two decades. Uh, we've come close a number of times. Seventeen years ago, we came within one vote of passing it in the Senate, but today was really a, a day where we made history. And an ama it's amazing that this is the first time either House of Congress has passed a major civil rights legislation giving any kind of protections to gays and lesbians. When working in the Clinton administration back in 1996 trying to pass this, what was the process like? Well, it was very different. Um, you know, many people were raising uh, more basic objections. I mean, I think since then we've done a lot of uh, education. The country has really come around. Now a majority of Americans support equality, basic equality for gays and lesbians, including marriage equality. But, you know, uh, uh, 15 Seventeen years ago when this was last voted on in the Senate, it was a very different moment. Yeah, people were raising all kinds of objections. I mean, the, the, the idea that you would uh, even have a law that protected, uh, uh, that offered civil rights protections to gays and lesbians was unheard of. And some people would just say, like, you know, why are you protecting these people? How far have we really come, though? Here you have uh, John Boehner saying this is an unnecessary law. Well, we've come very far in terms of uh, people's attitudes. We've come very far culturally. You know, you see uh, in people's everyday life, uh, they accept their, that gays and lesbians are, you know, their neighbors, their friends, their relatives. You may have a gay or lesbian family member. But in the, so culturally, you know, turn on TV, there are gay characters in every major TV show. But I think politically, we still have a long way to go. And, you know, it, it, in this country, we have, uh, you know, we have the government is, um, you know, is stuck in a old cultural mindset on issues like this, but especially on this issue, where you see uh, that John Boehner and the Republicans in the House are going to block this no matter what. I think that if the if the House allowed a vote on it, that many Republicans, there are many fair-minded Republicans. I think many Republicans in the House would support it. You think but, it will pass, though? I think, well, obviously, someday it will pass. It will not be long, it, it, but it will, pro it, you know, it will probably not be in this Congress because John Boehner is going to block it, even though many people in his caucus would support it. Uh, you know, the, the Republican leadership in the House is being terrorized by the far right, and they won't allow a vote on something like this. As an attorney, you see the need for this law. It, you know, there's a very basic need for it because in a lot of places, as the setup piece showed, uh, places where it's needed most, there is no protection. Anybody could just be fired. You know, you could, you, you, someone could fire you because you were gay, and it would be perfectly legal in most places in this country. Richard Sagarides, we certainly appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Thanks on. for joining us. Today's vote is a major development.